Hey guys, welcome to your first Java game development tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to start out really basic. Uh, we're just going to be creating a game screen and printing some, printing and or drawing some stuff to that screen. Uh, now, to if you're just starting out on this tutorial series, uh, the basic knowledge you're going to need to know for the first couple of these tutorials is class, our uh, classes, methods, variables, and constructors. Uh, that's pretty much. Uh, the limitation of this first tutorial. Uh, very basic to start out with. If you're not too familiar with Java, then I suggest uh, watching my uh, Java for the beginners Java tutorials. Uh, just get yourself a basic idea and then you can come back and start making your first game. Uh, now, let's get started. In NetBeans, I'm just going to create a new project, Java application going to name it Java game and do create the main class and finish. Um, now it's created all the default stuff. Let's just make this a bit bigger. There we go. Uh, now I'm going to include the package Java game because that's the one we just created. And then I'm just going to create my basic public class Java game. Now the first thing about game making is that you need a window to display your games in. Uh, in these first couple of tutorials I'm going to be working with JFrame which is basically a frame to put your Java applications in, or in our case our Java game. And to create a JFrame your class is going to need to extend the class JFrame which is found in JavaX.Swing. So import that. Um, now, just gonna first write our public static void main. And we need to put something in here, but I'm gonna tell you what it is later and explain it to you. Um, but for now, we're just gonna create a constructor for our Java game. And I'll tell you why. Uh, when we are creating our game, when we're creating our JFrame window, uh, as you know a constructor is called uh, when a new instance of it is created so we're going to need to set uh, basic properties for the JFrame such as its size um, and I'll, I'll just show you the options now there's about five basic options that you're going to need to know about to start off with and those are set title and set title is literally sets the title of the window like as you can see up here this is Java game net means ID that's basically what the title is and we're just gonna call it Java game next option next uh, method rather is set size and all of these are default with the JFrame class so as long as you ex if you're getting errors make sure you extend the JFrame and you've imported the Java X dot swing now set size takes two parameters and that's width and height. Um, I'm just going to make it 500 by 500 to start out with. Uh, then we have set resizable and that takes a boolean value, true or false, uh, whether the user can resize your game window. Uh, we don't want them to be able to resize the window. And then set visible which whether is whether the window displays or not. It also takes a boolean value. Uh, we obviously want it to be true because we want our users to see the game window. And then this last method, it's a bit more complicated. It's set default close operation. Now, uh, rather than tell you what this does, I'm going to show you what this does. So if I comment this out for the moment, Oh, that brings me on to the other point. Uh, when we run our, if we run our program now, and we come down here, we can see that the build was successful. Oh, hold on a second. We can see that the build was successful, but nothing's happened. No windows appeared or anything. So we need. What we need to do is we need to create a new instance of our class Java game. So we just write new Java game. We don't doesn't have any parameters, and then you can hit run. And as you can see, our game window has appeared. I'm just going to make that a bit smaller, half the size, 250 by 250. 
and run. And as you can see, we've got our little game window here. Uh, but if the set default close operation, now if you watch down here, our program is running. Our program is running here, and it's got the little stop symbol. Uh, if we close our program, close our window now, you can see that the game is still running down here. The, it's still uh, running the operation. Uh, and if we if we had multiple, if you can see we make multiple, it just carries on. It just carries on running new games, and we we really don't want that to happen because that's going to cause memory leaks, going to cause issues for our users. So the default, the easiest one to do set is type set default close operation, and then jframe dot exit on close, and that simply means what it says. Uh, as you can see here, if I close my JFrame window, the build stops down here. Uh, simple enough to understand, but yeah, that's that's what that does. These are the these are the basic five methods for your JFrame. Um, now I'm going to show you how to paint your graphics to your screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to make oops we're going to make a method called paint. And it's going to be public void paint. And it's going to take one parameter, and that's graphics G. And then we'll import graphics. And now what this graphics G does is we've created a new graphics object and giving it uh, the, the new graphics variable, rather, and we've given it uh, the name G. So now every time we want to do something to our screen, we will type g dot, and then as you can see, we've got many options, many drawing things here. Uh, at the moment, I'm just going to do draw string, and draw string takes three parameters. It takes the string, I'm going to write hello world, and then the next parameter is where it is on the screen x and where it is on the screen y. I'm going to write 75 and 75. Um, now if we run this program we can see hello world written on our screen. Um, and now th that's it for this tutorial. That's how to create basic your basic game screen and print a basic uh, thing. Print a basic message on your screen. Uh, if you type in g dot uh, you can experiment. There's, lo there's loads of different options you can do draw image, uh, although we'll get onto images later. Uh, you have draw rectangle, draw polygon, uh, many options. So just practice those and next tutorial I'm going to be uh, dwelling more into the paint method and also I'm going to be showing you how to handle uh, key inputs from the user so we can actually start, we can start making an actual game. So uh, I'll see you then. Remember to subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next tutorial.